Okay guys, so today I'm going to go through a few things I got from polywog.co.uk. If you don't know who they are, they're a company that mainly specialise in amphibians, though some of the items can be used with reptiles, and they also provide things for like fish and rodents and crabs, so they do quite a range of things, and I really, really wanted natural decorations for this natural terrarium build I'm going to be making. And in America, you seem to have so many different shops. You have Josh's Frogs that seem to have every kind of thing you would need. But to get stuff shipped over here, it would cost $75. So for someone in the UK, that isn't very handy. But I found this website and it's so cool. I highly recommend it. I've got a few things to show you, so let's get on with that. So the first item are almond pods, and yes that is a crested gecko in there, Isla is helping me show you how big this really is. So the terrarium I'm going to be building ha is going to have a foam background, and when you do a foam background you can incorporate cork and branches and driftwood and everything in the background, but you can also add these in. And I thought this would work really well because where you have a light shining into the terrarium, obviously if you have a planted terrarium you're going to need a light. This can act as a shade if it was into the background like this and inside it can be a little hide or a hangout for your crested gecko so you can fill it with moss that can work as a shedding hide or even if your gecko has walked on some eco earth or dirt it's got dirty feet if it walks through the moss that can actually help clean it so it could be a little moss hide or you can leave it bare or even put their feeding dish in it there's so many different things you can do with it and I love it because it looks so natural because it is natural so everything just works so well together and I think Isla likes it the next item are rainforest leaves and these look like little canoes they're so cute and they're really really tough so if you can see they're really hard now apparently when you spray them with water they can curl up but once they dry they go straight back out again I think as well if you have a frog and you wanted to use this for a frog they could easily fit in there for a crested gecko it could also collect water and once again to show you how big this is let's just put Isla in her little canoe oh my goodness that's the cutest little thing Isla in a canoe but yeah these are really tough leaves I think these look so cool in a terrarium <laughs> Isla looks so awkward right now The third item is this coconut bowl and it's actually massive so the bit in the middle obviously just imagine a normal sized coconut and this is the outer husk so if you ever see a coconut in the wild you'll notice it has an outer husk on it usually it'll be green that's when you're allowed to really drink from it um, but obviously when you're using it as a natural decor you want it like this so the great thing about this is you can use it as like a little hide or no, if you have frogs in that you can fill it up with a little bit of water you can also use it as a planter and apparently the water can actually drain through it it can go through the outer husk and eventually um, moss may be able to grow on the outside so it can really be incorporated in the entire tank so this one if I get my little ruler out if you want to know a bit of size this one in particular is about 17 or 18 centimetres wide. So yeah, it's a pretty big part of the terrarium, but I think it looks so cool. And finally today we have the sponge mushrooms. Now these will act as ledges at the back of the terrarium, since in the wild they are known as bracket fungi because they grow in the shape of brackets or even shelves. So these are gonna be ideal for the crested gecko as well as making the tank look really natural. So these are actually quite big, they're not small, they would definitely hold my crested gecko. Um, this one at the back is particularly big and they come in all different shapes and sizes because they're natural and that's what I really love. When you go and get something that's fake, it's all sort of one shape and that's why I prefer like natural decorations. One thing I will say is make sure the company you're buying from doesn't sell you a fake one but claims it to be a natural one and make sure they know where they're getting the items from. This is a problem with natural decorations because some people will harvest them from anywhere and they could be harmful to your animal so make sure you're buying from a decent company who knows where the items come from or even grows them themselves. That's why I really like this company, they seem to know the ins and outs of their products and that's why I'd highly recommend them. Now I would show you Isla on this but she actually is asleep in the leaf right now. She really really loves 
the little rainforest leaf to sleep in. It's like the perfect shape for a crested gecko. But what I will show you is how long they are approximately. So this one here is about 12, 13 centimeters. This one is about 19. So they are nice and big for a crested gecko. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. I know it was only four different items, but I hope it gave you an insight at how big these items are and sort of the range this website provides, but also check them out as well because there is so much more you can get. It's so cool. I think I've said cool way too many times. Anyway, yeah, I hope you've liked this video and thank you very much for watching.